BBC News. The heir to the British throne, Prince Charles, is reported to be displeased with the government's policy of sending some migrants to Rwanda. The Times newspaper says Prince Charles expressed his opposition in several private conversations. Royal officials have refused to comment but didn't deny the story. Under the policy, those entering the UK illegally will be flown to Rwanda to apply for asylum there. The High Court in London ruled the first flight can go ahead next week. The leaders of 20 countries attending the Americas Summit in the US have endorsed a plan to address mass migration. President Biden said that the Los Angeles Declaration outlined specific measures to address the problem. The United States is lifting from Sunday the requirement for international travellers to have a COVID test within 24 hours of boarding their flight. The need for testing will be re-evaluated every three months. Inflation in the United States hit a new 40-year high last month, reaching 8.6%. The news sent shares sliding on Wall Street. Ukraine says the humanitarian conditions in the Russian-occupied city of Mariupol have deteriorated so much there's a risk of epidemics breaking out. The city's exiled mayor says cholera and other diseases have already been reported. A lawyer representing an Ethiopian army general jailed at the start of a crackdown in the Amhara region has told the BBC his client has been released on bail. Brigadier General Tefara Mamo was the commander of the Amhara Special Forces allied with the federal government against Tigrayan forces. And a Brazilian Catholic priest accused of running over a man who stole second-hand clothes from his church has finally been interviewed by police more than a month after the incident. Brazilian media have accused the police of treating the priests hit and run too leniently. BBC News.